Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time I haven't posted any videos, but here I am today with a very exciting tutorial. And in today's video, we're gonna learn how to make 3D CGI ads in After Effects. And we're gonna use only After Effects to create this effect. So let's get started. All right, here I am in After Effects. Let's import the footage first. So I have the footage here. I'll drop the link in the description if you want to download that. And I'm going to drop this inside the new composition icon. And let me find a, let me just scrub through the timeline. And maybe I'm going to stop around six seconds. I'm going to select the footage, hold down Alt and right square bracket to trim this. And I'm going to hit N to set the work area, right click and trim comp to work area. So let's go ahead and click on the footage and I'm gonna pre-compose this, control shift, control shift and C, and I'm gonna move all attributes and I'm gonna set the name to footage and you can rename whatever you want and I'm gonna hit okay. And I have to track the camera, right? So. If you don't find this tracker, you can go to window and you can just check this tracker and you can find the tracker here, right? So we're gonna track the camera, select the footage and I'm gonna go and track the camera. Before you hit this track camera, make sure you are at a full resolution so that the camera's tracking is as precise as possible, right? So I'm gonna select this and track camera. So we're gonna wait for After Effects to do its thing. So meanwhile, if you are new to After Effects and you're coming from Premiere Pro, I have a course which is on my website, motionschool.in. If you haven't checked that out, I have a discount running for just 50 students and you can use this coupon code MD2025. You will get a 40% discount if you enter this coupon code while checking out. Make sure you check it out. The link will be there in the description down below. So here the camera has been tracked. You can just scrub to the timeline. If you can't see these points, make sure you select this effect, then only this will be shown, right? So I wanna place the, the product or the 3D model somewhere around here. So I can just draw a circle around here. I just click on it and make a circle and that will select the point. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is right click and I'm gonna create solid and camera, right? So here I have the solid and camera and right after that, I can just go and import my model. So here I have the model. I have all the asset link in the description down below. So this is the model. So this is the model and I'm gonna drop it here and drop it inside the timeline and you'll get this and I can just rename this Coke and select this make comp size and I'm gonna hit okay. And right after that, maybe you won't see anything. Maybe you are here. So I wanna place the Coke at this position. So I'm gonna select this, hold down shift and pick with the parent to this solid. So while holding down shift, you can just pick with it and there you have it. And now I'm gonna hit S and I'm gonna scale it up here. And maybe I'm gonna move it up somewhere around here. And maybe that's too big. Maybe I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. Somewhere around here and maybe I'm gonna move it down. And also I can just, you, if you go to the parent here, maybe you can just set this to none again. And I can scale this up this solid somewhere around here and maybe I move it to the Z axis somewhere around here. Maybe I'm gonna scale down the Coke down a touch and maybe somewhere around here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is we have to cast shadows on the floor and on these buildings, right? So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this solid, control D to duplicate it and maybe I'm gonna hit R to rotation and I'm gonna you know rotate this Y axis to maybe 90 degree and move it here and you know move it somewhere around here. Okay so once we have that now it's time to introduce some light. This time we're gonna use an HDR lighting so let's go ahead and create a new 
new you know light here and make sure you use this environment light and cast shadows is checked and hit OK and once you have the light you need some HDRI HDR images which I already downloaded from the website and here I have this and import that and I'm going to drop it in the timeline and I can just shut off the eye and I'm going to use this HDR image to light up the scene okay so I'm going to go inside this environment light collapse this and you can see the source select this to this layer and right away you'll have it like that all right so if you don't have shadows you can go to advanced and go to render options and make sure you hit this fit to screen hit ok and you'll have the shadows here okay so right now we have this and maybe i can adjust the lighting here so go to transform and maybe i'm going to set this transform somewhere around i don't know 20 25 i can just you know dial in some numbers and i can just see and you can also use and you can also tweak the settings with the y rotation something like this maybe i will just go into advanced rendering render options and maybe i'm going to scale this to double 120 mb and maybe it have some noise here but it takes time to render right so maybe at the final render i can just switch it back let's go back to full 16 mb and maybe yours might be at 8 i i already crank up it 10 yeah okay and i'll just leave the light for now like this let's see what we can do with the shadows here let me just move it down a touch all right so right now we have the solid here but we just want the shadows right so let's select this solid let's go inside the material options for that you can just hit aa and go to accept shadows and set it to only and it's gonna take a while all right so here we have accept shadows only and here you have only the shadows and now we can just go and dial back these rotation values of the light let's go back and set this to zero and maybe i'm gonna move the light around because no no let's back to zero just the light All right you can just make it something like that right so it's just a trial and error you just have to you know dial in some numbers and see what works for you once you have the lighting in place let's go ahead and animate this hit r on the keyboard and let's animate the y rotation hold on alt and click on this y and i'm going to type in time times maybe 50 and no that's not y maybe x no it's z yeah it's z so Let's just time times 50. So 
Let's turn off the sound for now. Let's see. All right, so you have uh, rotation animation here. And now we'll go and animate the. And now we're gonna animate the position because I want the coke falling from above. So maybe around, around you know, one second. Set a position and I'm gonna set to the first frame, go to the first frame and I'm move it up and maybe here and the cock falls down and maybe somewhere around here I'll just move it up a touch so that we have a smoother animation and maybe somewhere around here and I copy this and paste it. So I'll select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease, and let's see what we have. Well, it takes time to render because this is a 3D model. All right. Nice. All right, so, Right now, right now you can see we don't have any motion blur. And if you turn on the motion blur and for the comp and for the layers, you can see nothing happens. I don't know some, I didn't, I think Adobe has to add some feature for this motion blur to work on 3D models, I think so. So, what I did was I added a CC force motion blur. So the problem with this CC motion blur is that you can't apply any effect on this 3D layer. So what I did was I pre-composed this, Control shift and C, and maybe I'm gonna rename this Coke pre-comp. And I'm gonna hit OK. And once you do that, it disappeared, the lighting effect disappeared, and you can just check on this little gear icon. And once you do that, it comes back to where it was. And now I can add a motion blur, just drag and drop this. And you can see here, let's see. There, let's see what we have. Oh, it takes time to render. Okay, it's coming down here, okay. So the motion blur is here, but the problem with this is we don't have the shadows anymore, right? So if you turn on this 3D switch, you have the shadows, but if you play back at the beginning, you don't have the CC motion blur again. So how I fix this is, let me just off this 3D layer and I'm gonna duplicate this and I can just rename this Coke, maybe Shadow, right? So I'm gonna put this just below the Coke pre-comp and I'm gonna turn this back on, right? So turn the 3D on for the bottom layer and without the 3D layer for the upper Coke layer, right? So that kind of fixed the issue here. So I'm gonna, I'm not going to focus too much on the shadow detailing. You can just, uh, you know, just go inside the environment lighting and maybe I can just shadow darkness. I can just lower this to 80 and I can go inside the advanced and rendering options and I can just crank up this maybe to 15 smoothness to 15 and maybe I can just double this to 128 hit OK and of course it's gonna take a lot longer to render it out but you will have a much cleaner shadows and yeah yes you can see that you can you have a cleaner shadows with less grains here right so if you are just starting out with After Effects, I have a course for you and I have a 40% discount running on that course. You can use this coupon code MD2025 while checking out and you'll get a 40% discount and hurry, it's a limited seat. If you haven't watched this video, 
make sure you go and watch this. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.